welcomes a game on the show that's been banned from the zoo. How? Did you get the monkeys addicted to modern warfare? It's not even gaming related. It's not even gaming related, I'll tell you later. Coming up. Chinatown Wars on the iPhone. Better than iPint? Nothing's better than iPint. Look, my phone's a pint of beer. I'm drinking it like a pint of delicious telephonic beer. Get out. Mmm. First, though, it sounds like a sanitary towel. It looks like a mahoosive iPhone. Apple's iPad has landed. And some say it could be the future of handheld gaming. Let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. To Apple's credit, gaming on the iPod Touch and iPhone has exceeded all expectations. And with titles like the soon-to-be-reviewed Chinatown Wars, developers are making the most of the touchscreen technology and accessible Apple ecosystem. With a 9.7-inch screen, the iPad is hoping to harness that hype around iGaming and take it to the next level, offering something bigger, slicker and sexier. But is this oversized iPhone really that gamer-friendly? The honest answer is we don't know. We haven't had a go yet. But on first impressions, it looks too big to be a pocket device, too small for a home gaming device. I don't really know where I'd put it. <laughs> Apple, though, seemed fairly confident about its success. Then again, they were quite confident about the Apple Pippin. What's the Apple Pippin? Exactly. Good point. <laughs> So, sticking with Apple for our first review, we're joining a Chinese crime syndicate and getting our iPhones dirty with Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Johnny, give me your hand. Why? I need to cut one of your fingers off. It's an initiation no. ritual. No, that's the Yakuza. Short as the triads. No, see, just let's get on with it. We should say right out of the gate, those who already own Chinatown Wars on the DS or PSP probably won't need to bother with this one, as it's a direct and faithful port of the original title. For the uninitiated, though, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars plunges you into the shoes of Huang Li, a rich kid from Hong Kong out to avenge his murdered father. <laughs> Structure-wise, it's standard GTA fare as you run around the sandbox city in a lengthy story mode, doing missions for various crime lords. The biggest departure from the norm is the visuals. Chinatown Wars is a 3D top-down title, bringing back much of the fun, arcadey feel of the original PlayStation game. In terms of playing it specifically on the iPhone, it's been exceedingly well done. Loading times aren't too bad, and we encountered no graphical slowdown. The only real issue with the game comes with the controls. This is the first time GTA has been played solely on a touchscreen, and the buttonless experience is at first scary and confusing. <coughs> Not having physical buttons to press means if you aren't keeping an eye on your thumbs, you can find yourself jabbing at an unresponsive part of the screen and crashing into a wall. The driving in particular can be frustrating as they've opted just for left and right buttons rather than a more responsive D-pad arrangement. The only other complaint is with the plot advancing cutscenes. Dialogue is shown as text on the screen, but the conversations move painfully slowly, making actual investment in the game's storyline a bit of a chore. If you ignore that issue and put in the time to grow accustomed to the controls, however, you'll find yourself richly rewarded by a faithful port of an already fantastic game. In short, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars can be awkward to control, scuffering the more difficult missions, but face it, you're paying six quid for a fantastic DS and PSP game ported directly into the palm of your hand. And for that amount of money, Rockstar has done a stunning job. Game On gives Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars a richly deserved nine out of ten. First, though, it looks like a sanitary towel. No, sounds. If it looked like a sanitary towel, it'd be <clears> horrible. <throat> okay.